we're going to start looking at how to work with sound in PD and in particular how to play a sound file in PD. So the first thing we have to do when we want to play a sound file is we have to put an array in our patch. Now whenever I'm putting an array in my patch I always name it but I normally stick with array 1, array 2, array 3. You can, but you, I could call it array Bob, array Brian or whatever I wanted. I never normally put a space between the array or the name so like here it's just array one all together. I press OK and my array will appear at the top of my patch. So I'm going to move it down slightly and put it here. So what an array is, it is a space that will store my sound file. So it's not as simple as like when we're working with PixFill and we just tell it to open bang, open panel um, we choose the movie file and PixFilm will play the file. With sound we have to get put an array in our patch and then we have to store our sound file in the array and then we can play, we use another object to play the sound file from the array. So to choose my sound file, like always, I'll start off with put bang, then the open panel object and put object open panel and there's something very particular about the message I have to give it when I'm working with sound and um, so I'll put a message and the message I give it is read space dash resize then dollar one and then I give it the name of the array, which is array one. So what I'm telling PD, I'm telling it firstly to read my sound file, which will be the sound file. I take it, I choose. Then the resize is I make my array the size of my sound file. Otherwise, if my array is smaller than my sound file, I won't be able to store the whole sound file. So the reason I'm saying resize is, it's basically saying read the sound file, resize the array to fit the sound file, dollar one will accept the name of my sound file, and then array one is telling it which array to put the sound file into. And the last object I need, control one or apple one is the shortcut for object, an object is sound filer and this object is the object that will read the sound file and write it to the array so if I was to choose control E to go to play mode and if I was to choose my sound file now I'll go to my desktop and I have a sound file here called sound for piano wav open you can see now that my sound file is written into my array the only problem is I have to play it or you know I can't hear it so then I use another object to play the sound from my array put object and this object is tab play tilde now tilde is what I often use for objects that are associated with the sound um, I then put a bang, put bang to bang tab play to start playing the sound file and I can put a stop message, put message stop if I wanted to stop playing the sound file. There's something though, an argument that I have to give tab play um, is tab play doesn't know which array I want it to play so I have to tell tab play what array to play. Now we only have one array in this patch called array 1 but I could write in after tab play tilde space the name of my array which is array 1 and then the one thing I'm missing is my DAC digital audio converter which is basically the output or the speaker so put object DAC DAC tilde and then 
you'll notice there's two inputs on my jack and this is for stereo sound this is my left speaker this is my right speaker so now if I go to play mode control E and hit the bang you can see that it was playing my sound I'll do it again bang stop okay so if I want another sound to play I can put a second array put array the thing to note is that the array or and I, now I'll name this array 2 the thing to note is PD will always put my array in the top left hand corner here so I'm gonna have to move my array so I'll highlight it and click and drag and I'm gonna drag this down to here uh, it's a little bit tricky and I there we go I'm going to copy and paste this bang open panel read resize dollar one message control C control V and I'll drag it down to here the only thing is because I'm setting a separate array I want it to read into array 2 control E for play mode bang and I can connect select my second sound file which I've one called sweep one dot wow open okay so you can see it's a very different sound file but you can see it's drawn it in and there's the little bleeps here in the line that's representing my sound file and here I'm gonna copy and paste this bit control C control V and I'll write in array 2 so now if I press the bang this is my second sound file. Stop. Bang. Stop. Or I can play them both together. Now the, the first sound file is so loud it's overtaking it. Um, another way, if I don't want to have lots of these objects to play my sound files, will be to actually, I only need one tab play object um, here this is another way of doing it I can use tab play but I have to figure out a way of telling it which um, array to play so I can give it a message and the message is set array and the name of my array 1 and connect it to tab play and then a second message set array 2 so now if I go to play mode control E and I click on set array 1 and press the bang it plays the sound in array 1 and then if I click on set array 2 and press the bang it plays my second sound so there's a few ways of doing it sometimes we want to do it different ways for different reasons but that is how to take a sound file in and play it in PD